My role as a coach, um, it's really important that you're not just looking at the athlete or the player, but you're looking at the person and making sure that they're happy in their life. It's also uh, critical that they feel valued in their working life as much as their um, athletic and sporting lives. It was very traumatic. Um, I think it was, it was around 16 against St Kilda, and I remember it very vividly. The pain is probably the first thing that comes to mind when I want to, want to bring up the injury and the and what happened out on the ground. It's such such a mental challenge, you know, for a, an Australian rules footballer playing in the AFL to have a significant injury that's going to keep them out for a while because quite often the player has dreamt about playing at this level, but sometimes it can be like the end of the world for the player when they go down with a significant injury. I don't think that, that Luke deserved to give me any more time than he did. He went out of his way to make me involved. Um, he invited me into you know, some of his coaching tactic meetings just to, to make sure that, that I was in a good headspace, but that, that I was still important to this club and that, that I was, was part of putting this club in a position to, to be part of a premiership. Probably similar to a worker who has chosen a vocation uh, they have an injury in the workplace or away from the workplace and it's going to keep them out of circulation for a while. Um, that mental turmoil and that struggle with yourself um, is such a difficult time. So from my point of view, it is just so critical that you have regular conversation with the player to make sure that they feel valued, that they feel important, that, that you are going to support them the whole way along and that when they return, they're on equal footing again. For Luke to, to include me as much as he did, now, I'll be indebted forever because it was a very historical year, but to, to feel a part of it still when you're not even playing um, has made the transition back into the team so much easier and so much more enjoyable really because it, it felt like I never left. It is such a, um, a great thing when a, when a player comes back from a long-term injury. Everyone around them has witnessed them turn their mind and dedicate themselves to their own physical rehabilitation, but also um, getting through the, the mental struggle and the turmoil of the day-to-day, -day, uh, not being yourself. And uh, for that to culminate in them uh, playing their first game back, it just sends a great feeling through the whole organisation. Football's what I do. It's what I, what I wake up for. It's what I, what I think about when I go to bed. And, you know, there was probably that, there was a little bit of doubt in my mind that it could have been the end. It could have been something that was going to stop me from, from coming back and doing what I love to so say without their support and their direction and their guidance I don't think I would have been you know here today where, I, where I'm standing because they uh, they're very skilled in, in getting players back but they also um, it's on them to to be encouraging um, to be forceful to be diligent um, and not to waver on on any of the conditions that they set out at the beginning it's not swings and roundabouts it's not peaks and troughs it's just emotional poles where uh, we're down one minute, but we look forward to the, uh, the positive side of it when that player returns.